Welcome to EB Live. Join our chat with Lee Goldberg, author of the best-selling Monk original novels. Lee will talk about the books and take your questions. Joining him are Monk co-executive producer David Breckman and you. Ask questions by using the chat box under the player. Or if you have a Skype account and webcam, send us your Skype username via the chat box and we'll get you on camera. And now, here's Lee. My name's Lee Goldberg. Welcome to our first EB Live interactive web chat. Um, it's the first of its kind using an innovative new technology. I would tell you all about it, but I've signed a confidentiality agreement. And if I were to tell you all these secrets, they would kill me. But suffice to say, no expense has been spared. This set behind me costs $3.6 million. I'll be talking about the TV series Monk and the original novels that I'm writing based on the show. Um, we'll be taking your questions by chat, but also by webcam. If you type your questions into the chat box, I'll see them. And if you want to join me live on camera, um, all you've got to do is type your Skype username into the chat box, and we'll work you into, into the program. So we welcome your questions. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and about the books. I'm a writer for the show, and um, the books are based on the characters, but are standalone original novels. I've been writing books since I was about uh, 16 years old, 17 years old. My first novel, 357 Vigilante by Ian Ludlow, was published when I was 19. I used the name Ian Ludlow, so it would be on the shelf next to Robert Ludlum, and Ian for Ian Fleming. So people would go, Ian Ludlow. You know, I think I read something by him. It wasn't bad. Those books came out the same week that Bernard Goetz blew away some muggers on a New York subway train. New World Pictures bought the movie rights, hired me to write the script, and I've been writing for movies and books ever since. The monk job came along through my television work. I was writing episodes of the show and also writing original novels based on the series Diagnosis Murder, which I uh, wrote and produced for many years. Andy Breckman, the creator of Monk, was a fan of my, my writing, both my books and my scripts, and invited me in to write an episode of the show. And that went so well that when he was approached about doing original novels, he recommended me for, for the job. And it's been a, a dream to do. It's just been great. Those of you who may not be familiar with Monk, it's the story of an obsessive, compulsive detective who solves crimes with the help of his assistant, Natalie. And just in case you've never seen it, here's a clip from next week's episode called Group Therapy. Friday. Uh-uh. What is it? HMO. Oh, don't open that. When Monk's insurance cuts him off, we're putting a cap on the number of sessions. He's forced to pursue his own health care plan. I've been thinking a lot about my mother. Dr. Bro, wait! <laughs> Monk, all new episode Friday at 9 on USA. Characters welcome. As you may or may not know, this is the last season of Monk. There are just a few more episodes left. They'll be bringing back Sharona and also revealing who Trudy's killer is. In fact, maybe we'll reveal it tonight. Who knows? You've got David Breckman, the co-executive producer and director, showing up. That can be your first question. Maybe you'll catch him off guard, and he'll be glad to answer it for you. My next Monk novel, Mr. Monk in Trouble, comes out December 1st, and it's the 9th, 10th? I've written so many of these so fast, I'm losing count of them. But it takes place in present day and also in the 1840s and introduces a distant relative of Monk's, Artemis Monk, in a gold rush town. So we get to deal with some of the reactions Artemis Monk has to the filth and decay of, of the 1840s California. Um, if you see me looking in strange places, I'm just trying to spot the, uh, the questions coming in from the outside world. Oh wait, our special guest has, has arrived, thank God. I was just about to start singing my favorite TV themes. Um, this is co oh, producer yes. David Breckman. Uh, happy to be here, Lee, and uh, I guess, yes, I, I've heard you sing before, so I figured as a public service to humanity, I would step in as quickly as I could. And, uh, and join you and talk about Monk. I, I want to thank you for coming. This is just like being on my own talk show. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. This is a, an inaugural kind of webcast or something, isn't it? What's neat about it is we can First of see all, all I'm, the... I'm, I'm, I'm looking at... There, there's one camera there, right, and cool. that camera shows both of us. Uh, say so again? We have, a, we have a guest with a question. Ah. Oh, there he is, right there. Put on your clothes, please. You're on, <laughs> on television. or actually on, on the World Wide Web. <laughs> Go ahead, fire away. Hi, uh, I was uh, wondering how you got started writing these books and uh, 
whether you really think uh, Monk is obsessive compulsive or if he has Asperger's. I'll take this one. Okay. No, I'm kidding. No, this is all this. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I start writing the books because um, Andy Breckman, his older brother and creator of the show, was approached about doing original novels, and I was a novelist and writing episodes of the show, and Andy offered me the opportunity since I knew the show well and he, he trusted me, and God, has that turned out to be a big, <laughs> big mistake. If Andy actually read my books, he'd discover what I've done with Monk. He's now cross-dressing, he's gay, he's a hermaphrodite, but Andy doesn't read the books, so he doesn't know any of this. Plus, I've revealed who Trudy's killer is in the books. Um, and whether Monk has OCD or Asperger's, um, if I remember right, Andy just said you just make this up as you go along, right? Well, that's not entirely true. In fact, we've won awards from various obsessive compulsive disorder support groups. I think <laughs> you're touting that. Uh, <laughs> I am, but here's the thing. Uh, Serious. Uh, hopefully, and by the way, are, we, are you picking us up? Okay, uh, this is. Uh, I'm guessing that's a yes. Uh, Monk is a cluster. This is my brother's phrase. A cluster of symptoms that probably does not exist in the real world. But all of his individual symptoms uh, do exist, and uh, we do have consultants that, uh, that do keep us honest. But again, that said, we, um, we I guess in the interest of uh, dramatic license, have taken some liberties with his condition. We have a question from the outside world. Do they get advice from forensic psychiatrists and the police? Uh, we do get advice from uh, the police in particular. We do not always take that advice. Uh, we have a wonderful, oh, uh, enormously bright uh, uh, detective lieutenant on the LAPD, uh, John Perkins, and he is a guy that keeps us honest uh -oh. about police procedures. But again, often to keep things interesting, to keep things fun, we will take liberties with standard police protocol. I have another question. Yes. Do you... Uh, do you have any Columbo connection with this show? Uh, I don't follow. I mean, were we in, were we influenced by Columbo or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're very perceptive. Uh, that would be uh, affirmative. Yes, uh, Columbo there was there is, there is. one of our uh, big influences, along with, uh, believe it or not, Seinfeld. In some respects, there's an element of there's a Seinfeld Feldian element, and in the nature of our main character, uh, we took a page out of the Conan Doyle playbook. There's a little bit of Sherlock Holmes in there as well. We have a question. Right. Of, will there be Monk movies after the series ends? I can't answer that question. Oh uh, boy, I wish I could answer that question. Uh, my gosh, watch this space for more details. I, it, it doesn't seem likely, but, but, but anything's possible.